Hello everyone, I'm Abdullah. I'm in my first year at York University studying the biomedical sciences. Today, we'll be using household materials to learn how to put out a candle because we want to learn how a candle burns. We will be using a lighter and handling fire, so make sure to have parental supervision. For this experiment, you will need a lighter, a candle, a plate, measuring cups, vinegar, baking soda, a mug, some cling film, and a fork to help stir the reaction. First, take your candle, melt the bottom of the candle with the lighter, and place it on a plate firmly. Use parental guidance for this. Then light the top of the candle and set aside safely. Now put a quarter cup of baking soda in a mug, and then place a quarter cup of vinegar in this and stir quickly. As it bubbles up and fizzes, place a sheet of cling film over the top to contain any produced bubbles and gas. Wait 15 seconds with the cling film. You may notice the gas bubble up as it collects in the mug. Then remove the cling film and gently tip the mug's rim towards the flame. Be sure not to pour the solution of the reaction onto the flame. You should see the flame get snuffed as the gas from the mug is poured over it. We observed that the gas produced from the reaction put out the flame. But what was this mystery gas? It was carbon dioxide, of course. We've all heard about the vinegar and baking soda experiment in the volcano, and this is similar. Our vinegar is a dilute concentration of acetic acid, and our baking soda comprises of sodium bicarbonate. And once this reacts, it produces sodium acetate, which is soluble in water, and carbonic acid. But this decomposes into water and carbon dioxide, which is our gas. The air around us is a mixture of carbon dioxide and oxygen, but the concentration of produced carbon dioxide is much larger. And since candles require oxygen to burn and not carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide displaces the oxygen as it is poured since it's much denser than air and it sinks. So to recap, fires require oxygen to burn and not carbon dioxide. A reaction between sodium bicarbonate or baking soda and acetic acid or vinegar produces sodium acetate, water, and gaseous carbon dioxide. Our air has a mixture of gases and the carbon dioxide from the experiment is at a larger concentration. When carbon dioxide displaces the oxygen from the air near the flame, the fire can no longer burn. Try this experiment out at home and tag Pueblo Science in your results. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more content. Do comment down below what you would like to see us try next time. Have a great day.